Welcome, lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we play various tabletop role-playing games as you, the audience, uh, earn fate chips that can be used to reward or punish your favorite players or their characters. Uh, you can earn fate chips by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, or just contributing to the game. You can then use those fate chips to heal characters, adjust their next skill checks, uh, force them to say silly lines, or just wreak havoc on the story. Tonight, we are continuing our Star Trek adventures. These are the voyages of the starship Norway. It's Faithful Captain uh, being played by Armand, uh, Captain Roland Sykes. Make it go. Uh, we have uh, Lieutenant Commander Sivek being played as uh, by Good Devil. Uh, myself will be playing the uh, Commander uh, Balchisorthus. And Who's myself? I don't think I've met him yet. Yeah, he comes in every once in a while. Uh, and then our, to mitigate the will of the fates, we have our very own Q being played by Wayne. Oh, I will not mitigate it. <laughs> for you deserve all that you get. And it does look as though as though Belshazzarus is being consumed by darkness as we speak. I am. It's sort of like it's a triple of a triple of evil has sucked upon your upon your left side. You're a waning mat. You're a waning mat. <laughs> as opposed to Uncle Traveling Mat. <laughs> yes, we're going to get Hanson in on this. They're going to really ream us out today. Welcome again to this minor little bit of escapism as our players continue to try and find a way for their pathetic little federation to survive a second Borg assault, which they know is coming. Yes, you ma they managed to, to cry their way out of the first one and do it while dressed in uh, an outfit that would have made uh, Sting envious in Dune. Yes, that, that, that didn't go anywhere. No reaction from anyone. Um, <coughs> however... Uh, what we want to do to warm things up is a brief quiz, because to, uh, today's episode may involve Vulcans. So, which of the following is not, not a Vulcan ritual? And it's not cultural appropriation, because I'm a Q. Is it Kolinar? Is it Kaswan? Is it Ta Ko Puste? Is it Val Torpan or Kunat Kalifi? I'd gladly pay you for a taco today. <laughs> <laughs> we will only accept Bitcoin, and I have six hours to wait for the transaction. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so which of these is not a Vulcan uh, TM, Vulcan ritual? So while you're all waiting, uh, I wanted to leave you all with this uh, thought from one of your uh, beloved captains about uh, battle and about war. No apparent reason. That's just the way the continuum was feeling today. So <coughs> our brave crew knows that that's not a thing to seek out. So how are we doing on, on the pole? The pole. Oh man! Everyone's the going for Taco Tuesday. Big parties at the Vulcan compound. <laughs> yeah. So I'm on like a calorie counting yes. thing right now. So we're talking about tacos. So I'm like, oh god. I wanna... <laughs> you can make a healthy low calorie taco. It yeah. won't be fun. Yeah, it won't Cold taste air. good. <laughs> Veej, yes. what do you mean, sorry about your pathetic... This federation is anything but pathetic. <laughs> sorry about the pathetic federation. Yeah, this is a, a sad little federation that has to commit high treason. She would it, She it, would be on the Borg side. No, they just they just really want to reach out to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Which is finally, perhaps, being prosecuted. Well, the um, poll, poll is, is over. And uh, Taco Tuesday is uh, uh, 
is, is the is, overwhelming favorite. Is the overwhelming favorite. That is correct. Uh, we all know Kolinar uh, is something that Seabig uh, practices all alone in the uh, privacy of his own cabin. Uh, the Kaswan. Does anyone in in or out of game know what the Kaswan is? I'm waiting for Mermaid. Nope. Oh, you got to see me sneak my entire world across the stream. That was very yeah. weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, the Kaswan is where uh, Vulcan children wear uh, short pants that would make a Japanese schoolchild blush. And karate swan. That's and uh, go out in, with little belts, and then they go out into the forge, and they just got to survive for a while because apparently the Vulcans really believe in free, uh, free-range parenting. Uh, does anyone have an idea about Feltor Pan? Okay, that's where you stuff someone's brain back in their head so that the bridge officer can come back to life. Because <laughs> bridge officers are always coming back from the dead. So this was the, the ability to fuse the Katra back with a living body. Because sometimes, apparently, you know, it's like, it's like their space Heimlich maneuver. They feel they're going down, and the first thing they do is like slap, make a backup copy into somebody else's head. And sometimes it's embarrassing because you live. Then what do you do? <laughs> so you slap it back in. And uh, two people have had this performed on them. Uh, two people in the Star Trek universe have had this or something very similar performed. One is... The only Vulcan that we give a shit about other than Civic. Spock. Spock. <laughs> the second is Jonathan Archer. Oh, yeah, when he has the uh, Katra of um, um, Sarek in his head. Yeah. Spoiler See, alert for a this, TV this show is, in the early 2000s. <laughs> this is why I sort of presumed you knew about all the shows I referenced last week. But no, Valour is one step too far. And uh, the Kunat Kalifi. I think I know this one. Yeah, it's it, the first rule of Kunat Kalifi is we don't talk about Kunat Kalifi. <laughs> Isn't that like when you when when you so, someone's going through Pon Far and there's like two two uh, Vulcans like fighting for uh, the love of the other, or not not even just love, just the pure unadulterated uh, adult time. A per, yeah, pointy time. Mm -hmm. personal, personal finger touching project, but finger time oh. because that was yeah. that was a thing we, we that forget thing. about that oh yeah the most filthy episode in the entirety of star trek is, is that where et got it uh yes and <laughs> and actually it was uh the most filthy episode is uh journey to babel because because Sarek and amanda doing this like the whole time <laughs> The whole time walking around the ship, it was it was uh, yeah. This was true to Gene's vision, honestly. Uh, I mean, Ferengi are getting jacked off on the bridge of their ship. Yeah, they got the lobing thing going. Mm -hmm, yeah, touch my <laughs> lobes in front of all of these people. Mm -hmm. So again, this is true to Gene's vision. Star Trek has always been horny, and I would recommend uh, Steve Shives or uh, Jesse Gender's essays on those things. Uh, they are quite cool little dives. So there's a plug that I will never get anything back for. Nope. So when we last we left the intrepid crew, did we leave them? Up? We they had just exited the holodeck where you had learned a a new thing. What new thing did you learn, Captain? Oh, Captain. So, yeah. We XO we learned XO? we learned that the chief engineer needs to get over here and fix the goddamn holodeck because if I almost, if the captain almost gets exploded in the holodeck for another time, it's gonna mm. well, this isn't the Enterprise here okay, we're not playing around with the holodeck <coughs> we're not playing fast and loose with the holodeck not playing fast, it either works or it doesn't, are you gonna uh, call him up from the, uh Uh, we have some old school this year. <laughs> uh, Commander Sivik. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we discussed, I think someone in chat specifically said uh, to let, they vetoed touch my lobes. Yeah. Don't watch <laughs> Deep Space Nine. 
Yeah. Yes. It's there's there's <laughs> a lot of umox going on. I made it a whole nother two episodes in. Be proud of me. I do. I'm <clears> telling <throat> you, man. The some of the, the the later seasons of Deep Space Nine, some of the best TV. Mm, just Chef's kiss. See you, Vic. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Testers, what do you want, C Commander? Do you, do you want to explain to me why uh, why me and the uh, me and the XO just almost got blown up on the holodeck? Captain, I told you not to take on those puzzles without me. Uh, this wasn't uh, our scheduled game night. We found something, and the safeties on the holodeck malfunctioned. Now, I mean, this ain't the Enterprise. We need, we need these, we, look. We're... Something I remind myself of every day, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to, you're, I need, I need you to get that fixed, man. I need, I, I need you to get a crew down here. You need to get this thing taken care of. I mean, we've got, we've got scheduled holodeck time tomorrow at 1100, put it... 1100. Yeah. I'll... 1100. I'll put a t uh, team of engineers on it straight away, Captain. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put you up there. So there's a team of engineers. Um, so what did you uh, learn other than that your uh, holodeck is a, is basically a death trap? <laughs> Which is, <laughs> I think that's just the definition of all holodecks. <laughs> right. Um, well, we... We learned we learned that there were plenty of times in the Federation's past where some form of artificial intelligence or um, non uh, carbon based life tried to take over. And we also learned that, um, hey, the Federation um, already knew about the Borg. Uh, that's something that I'd love to ask the Admiral about. Um, don't want to tell her how I, f I figured that out, but yes, that is indeed a thing that you learned. Um, let me see. Yep. Um, <laughs> so now you have, and also you have, uh, I forget how many Terra, uh, kiloquads of, uh, tricorder data of close up scans, which do not exist. Uh, at this point, this the only scans you had were from the cube. The only scans the Federation has is from the cube and the uh, pieces, parts of Borg floating merrily around Earth. Apparently, creating a little debris field. Um, so yeah, uh, you you now have uh, that data. So what do you want to um, do at this point? Well, Civic uh, makes his way down. Or sends so who are you sending, Civic? Because I don't think you want to deal with the holodeck. Do you want to send Tuck, Tucker? Or... Oh, oh, I don't, I don't. Have, God, I've lost my Star Trek notebook. Uh, God, what was his name? Oh, I've got him. Who, who do you need? He, he was the one that really fucked up at the beginning. Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins. Yes, we are sending uh, Jenkins, and uh, let's see. Uh, one up. Make one up. We need new. We need more crew. <sighs> We've got seven we'll people say, on this uh, ship. <laughs> well, look, like, if you want to, if you want to see them, they're Sergeant, right here. Uh, yeah, Tech Sergeant Sargentson. Tech Sergeant Sargentson. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, be chief. They don't have Maybe a sergeant, but uh, Sargentson. Okay, he is. Uh, what is his what is uh what's his specialty again? Hmm. Uh what say uh nacelle maintenance. The cell handling. I was on the way <laughs> this guy handles my nacelles. Oh uh, yeah. He's handling I he's very careful with mm -hmm. them. They're very delicate. Especially just in when it's just too cold out. The cells. Um, they, get, they get sensitive. Yeah. Uh, so, two words. Uh, first, Captain, what would be one word to describe Sergeant Sargentson? And XO, what is your opinion of this oh, person? Oh, let's see. Um, single single words. words? Single words. One word only each. Hmm. 
You don't have to strain too hard. You can rock Uncounted. this out. Um, Do you want um, the oh. holodeck to be fixed? <laughs> Look, all it means so far is he knows Unix. Look, I just uh, every single time I see this guy, every single time I see this guy, he's got a little shaggy hair, you know. Like we have a we have a a, a barber on board, you know. But he's not an ethnically perfect, uh, ethnically uh, based barber. I'm gonna say uh, and Exo. Uh, panicky. Okay, this ought to be an interesting. So officer. basically, it's Look. it's uh, um, Barkley with with needing a haircut. It's even less, ha- even more hair. <laughs> I love uh, it. Yes, well, he's he's panicky. It doesn't necessarily mean he's insecure. He could be. He could go several ways. But yes, unless you want to just do a straight uh, copy no, of the no, character. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I think he should be his own. He can he can also panic at the drop of a hat, or just you know worry about being blown out of an airlock at any minute. Um, so they're on their way down, <laughs> and um, at this point uh, there is a uh, a chirp of your communicator, and I won't use the incorrect one anymore because you guys are annoyed by that. And uh, it's who loaded the, the old sound effects and, on the ship? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we had retro. We do we change the screen setting. It was so, throwback so. Thursday, but now it's Saturday. Come on. Yep. So we have um uh the Admiral uh, is is uh uh checking and take. Captain, do you have a minute? Y- yes, Admiral. I will uh I will endeavor to be there momentarily. Oh no, we can just handle this over the comms cuz we don't have enough money for sex. Oh. Whatever your desire is, Admiral. Don't tell well, me about the stuff. Well, let's not get too personal, Captain. <laughs> but we have a... Um, there's a Vulcan delegation that's passing through the sector that... Well, they just... They're, you know how the Vulcan... Oh, are. believe me. Oh, I, they I know. Really, they, don't, they really don't want to do things. Don't do it. Um, but, but we've been trying to approach them about your project oh 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 my my the 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 borg project yes yeah i'm ixnay on the org bay oh is this an is that is this an unsecure you you uh, you're yelling in the middle of a, a corridor yes but it's my corridor it's fine okay because basically that i wouldn't be i wouldn't think sorry that that one young man that you had uh, with you at the last party, uh, Sergeantson. All I know is a champagne cork went off, and I I think that there was some sort of a sewage leak. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I I keep it on the day all around. He's him. he's he he clocks in a lot of time with the ship's council. Let's just say that. Oh, good. Aren't we? Self care is the best care. So, um, <laughs> uh, what I'd like to do is actually, could you, uh. Well, I need you to make contact with these people. Oh, with some and, Vulcans. Uh, yeah, these are these are people that I think uh, I'd like you to reach out to them because uh, one of them is an ambassador uh, to the sector and could sway opinion and possibly garner some resources mm. that might be helpful. My XO is very very useful in dealing with Vulcans. Don't make that face. You you're, you have a Vulcan that could be useful in dealing with yeah Vulcans yeah I know too. I know I was just I I was making I, it was an inside joke between me and oh. my my XO he's standing right here so he's kind of like listening in on the call say say hi Commander I have no issue with Vulcans let me just be very clear about that <laughs> <laughs> look we like to we 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 work hard we play hard here on the Norway. Oh uh, yeah. Oh well, that's okay. I'll just. Uh, you hear the sound of a shredder happening in the background. It's a, yep. I'm just gonna take care. Uh, yes, I have, I have uh, his his HR report right here about his encounters with the Vulcans. And you're right. He has no problem with them. And then it goes <laughs> into the shredder. <laughs> all the all the things Civic po- filed have just gone into the shredder at this point. <laughs> 
I believe that is the Starfleet tradition at, in this in this universe. Um, <coughs> so what I uh, want to uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, I have a bit of a cough because you know space dust in my office. Uh, Tarkalian flu um, has been going around. Oh, tell me about it. The way it makes the way it makes your earlobes itch. I guess that wouldn't be a problem if you were and, Ferengi. Am I right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> so, um, uh, what I what I need you to do is, can you check out um, uh, Type Six Shuttle? They're about two hours out, and we've asked them to to uh, come on board, but they've they've declined. But it's uh, the science ship, and I've got to look this up because you know they all have a T and an S in them. Um. Yeah, they all have a T and an S, and I can't even get those. It's the Subak Tall. The Suvak Tall. Yeah. It's a small scout ship. And you said they're about two hours out. Uh, they're about two hours away at 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 medium warp. And do you know the name of the ambassador that uh, uh, is on on board? Ah, uh, Steve? No, no, that's the other one. Okay. Oh, there's Snag Topex. Uh, Troy. No. Can't. No. Uh, uh, Tahak? 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 Um, am, I, am, I, am I saying that right, Admiral? No, no. Tahak. Yeah, and I'm going to have to change the spelling because I mispronounced it. So hold on. There we go. There we go. Yep, it's the hawk now. Um, and um, uh, all right. So as an aside, at this point, um, I guess I'm going to put you in a little talky talk bubble. Uh, at this point, you uh, seven uh, good uh, ah, because you left your com open as you always do. Whenever you talk, you always have three or four way mm -hmm. calls. So um, uh, at this point, Civic has overheard uh, Stahak's name, and he's really high up. If I remember right, he's a high muckety muck on the Vulcan Science Council. Or Civic, well, who was this? From, who was this to you? Uh, who is uh, on the High Council? No, no, Stahak. Uh, just Stahak to you. Uh, it's not good either. Ooh. Uh, would that be um, who I voiced my uh, my descent with the, uh, the Vulcan Academy? Yeah, I think you told him to to, uh, to take this and human it. Yeah, where you were? It was uh, it was back when he he's one of the people that sent you on that mission. Ah, okay, yeah. See, we're bringing in all, all of the backstories. You, you can't mark me down as the DM now, because all the backstories that we made up and played are getting used. I didn't read any of the things people wrote, and trust me, they did not write a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Had ship blow up. Found new, new, went boldly, that kind of thing. Yeah, this is a person that you don't like. And the feeling is extremely mutual. So, um, um, Sivek was in on the call? Of course he was, because you didn't tell me you Perfect. hung up on him. Um, Sivek, yeah. uh, I, I assume you were hearing this, right? Uh, no, Captain. I had been making my way to, to fix your beloved holodeck. Well, wonderful. I hope that you've put a good crew on it, because I'm going to need you in two hours' time to meet a Vulcan delegation that's coming here to the um, uh, space station. They do not wish to leave their ship, but they have a high-ranking official, an Ambassador Stahak. I don't, I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, but uh, I'm going to need you to go show him a good time. You know, give throw, throw him out uh, the old Federation welcome wagon. Uh, Captain, with all, all respect, Perhaps someone would be more well-suited uh, for entertaining our guests. 
Uh, well, nope. Sivek, listen. Um, look, I can't. I, I can't stress to you how important it is that we get the Vulcans on board for this uh, 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 B O R G threat. Um, so I'm gonna need. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need you to do. I don't want to make it an order. I would prefer you to do this willingly, but I am prepared to tell you that it's an order. And I shall uh, endeavor to make the ambassador's uh, time spent aboard the, the Norway a pleasant one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if, if they wish to stay on their ship, that's fine. If they would like to come and tour the Norway, by all means, uh, roll out the proverbial red carpet. I know we don't actually have red carpet. Everything's nice slate gray. Just like the Federation intended. Mm. Well, Captain, yes? you, you really never hung up the call. Oh. But they don't want to come here. They, they want you to go to them in a shuttle. Oh, that's even... Hmm. All right, well. Wonderful. It seems I shall have some company or some assistance. We don't have shuttle names, do we? No. There's not a theme for the uh, shuttle. I think it should be. I, think... I thought we did Thor and I thought we did now, Thor. Now, here's, and Loki here's, stuff. here's my thought. I think that we should take it one step further and we should make the. Uh, uh, Keep it in the Norse mythology, but instead of doing the gods, the gods' steeds. Like like Odin's horse has a name, Thor's horse has it. They they all their horses have names. Those should be the names of our shuttles. Horse god horses. No safe search. Safe <laughs> search. Safe search. <laughs> Thor's horse Brett. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is is your horse not named Brett? Britain. Is it Brett? All I know is they did a killer David Bowie. I thought it was Fomos and Demos, but I could be wrong. Somebody had war goats too. Selip Selipnir. Selipnir is the eight legged uh, horse of Odin. Take the you know what? Take the Selipnir. It's the nicest shuttle out of the out of the bunch. It's got eight eight warp <laughs> missiles. It has it has ghost sticks. It has eight ghost sticks. Well maintained. Sergeantson really likes the Salopnir for some reason. Please make a note of this. I will not remember it. <laughs> uh, I I am refusing to commit that to the memory bank of the continuum. Uh, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, uh, you may need one extra person along uh, for this for this voyage, uh, just to to generally kick around and be a hype oh, man. Oh, take Wesks. He's good at that. Well, or you could take somebody else. Wesks is. Hi, sir. I really enjoyed being on the on the uh, the bridge last time, and other than spilling coffee all over those ops you controls, what? it went swimmingly while you were there. <laughs> you did what? Oh. Um, nothing, nothing. Uh, we could we could bring Ensign Tucker. He seemed pretty reliable. Sure, sure. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> okay. Somebody's somebody's really lobbied hard for that that little mm -hmm. fur ball. All right, and so uh, without delay, uh, because time's a wasting on on plots. Um, I'm, uh, you've all been slapped onto the cell near. Perfect. And I have no idea how I spell that. Um, S L E I P N I R. S L E I what? S L E I P N I R. I R. <laughs> yeah, pretty much those were all letters that I had. Um, 
it didn't either way the computer said I and amazingly it's in the dictionary for Google. What is it? <laughs> I, However, if I want to have if I want to just tell people to go get docked, uh mm -hmm. that happens. Yeah. And I'll say really loud at the, while I'm at the controls, I'll be like, man, can you believe that uh, Starfleet wanted to call this Shuttle Pod 1? Come on. <laughs> yeah, nobody's getting those jokes. <laughs> They're not landing. I hear the crew refer to it as Brett. You're going to be upset. <laughs> Brett. That's that's oh. the other Shuttle Pod. It's Brett. Yeah, Shuttle Pod Brett. Um, <laughs> so you guys are uh, cruising along. Uh, is there anything you should have you felt you should have brought? Um, I'm not sure. We haven't built up any momentum, so good luck with this. Um, I probably would have wanted to bring um, ooh ooh a re the, the most fun hollow novel that I have. Okay, uh, which it's is? called uh, it's called um, uh, old olden. Old, old, olden bracelet. Not following it. <laughs> it's a deep cut. It's a deep cut. Okay, if anyone can decipher that for the queue. It's, uh, I've, I've been playing a game called Elden Ring recently. So oh, okay. Making a that's... joke, making a joke about that. Oh, okay. No, that was a very small joke, Ensign. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Alden bracelet. Did anyone else bring anything? Uh, I mean, um, you're going over to another ship, so there's no re uh, reason to have anything other than just, you know, your com badges and an extra pair of underwear and a toothbrush. Uh, that's all you need. Um, so you do approach. Uh, it's just all the same to you. Um, we're going to do an exterior shot because people uh, like the special effects. They don't want to bottle up. Yeah, there we go. So there's the uh, there's you approaching them, and um, you do get the the standard uh, very terse uh, Vulcan uh, greeting of "Hi, you're expected, and we knew we knew you were coming." Wonderful, wonderful. Um, would you? Uh... You're a small vessel. Do you have room for the shuttle pod, or would you like us to beam over? Uh, we have the ability. We have uh, airlocks, which are distinctly lacking on a Federation shuttle. So, uh, if you could hold your breath as you jump across, that would be great. Ah, uh, this must be. <laughs> this trick, must Captain. be. Let's not do I'm going to think to myself. <laughs> this must. Yeah. This must be that Vulcan humor that I've been told exists. Yes. That was a very funny joke, uh, uh, um, uh, Suvok Tall. Um, I guess prepare for the four of us to beam over. Okay. Um, let me see. You've got... Uh, you're all set. And um, I don't have a transporter sound, which is even funnier. So you guys can make your own... Uh, I think, I think we, might have, we might have one on deck. Yes. Um, also, Civic, uh, if you want to roll a, ooh, did you buy a keychain? <laughs> um, if you want to roll a an insight, and either command or medicine. Insight and. Command. We got a target of an eleven, and we got zero successes. Okay, everything's just fine. Nothing suspicious whatsoever. Nope. Nope. You're just walking on in. You're a ray of sunshine. Okay. So, <laughs> the uh, the Subek Tall has a ship that has uh, basically two decks, uh, in addition to a bridge deck, deck one. So deck uh, two, where you'll be beaming in, uh, is basically has a transporter pad, has a couple of airlocks. So they weren't kidding about the airlocks. Uh, a series of labs, cruise quarters, and then a ritual slash ball pit space. As well as uh, the upper deck of main engineering 
And then the lower deck has ship stores, more engineering, uh, some fabrication facilities, things like medical and computer course, as well as a, a, a meditation. Um, no, we're not going to do that. Um, a meditation room. We'll just put the meditation in quotes. Because Vulcans need to meditate. <coughs> so what you guys are is on uh, deck uh, deck two. You're at the transporter pad. So I've got to bring. Oh my gosh, got to bring a transporter in here. On deck, because of, of all the things I decided to do was actually generate spaces that I know of and then not have them ready for you. Come into a transporter room and then I need to pull my people over. And you've got these guys standing over here being all logical. And we have the crew. And do I need to include the sparklies? Did we pay for the sparklies this week? I'm not in charge of the budget. Okay. And you did bring over Ensign Tucker because he gets more lonely. Requires a lot of attention. He does require a lot of attention. He will scratch up the furniture if left unattended. Okay, that was this is a long way for uh, the transporter effect, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm very excited about it. So yes, <clears throat> so you you uh, you beam in. Uh, Spyak and uh, Stahak uh, are there, and Stahak of course immediately recognizes Sivik and um, is uh, somewhat. Um, well, positively pissed off at this point, from what you can see. I mean, only only Civic knows this. Everyone else, this is just another Vulcan. They're they're absolutely under control. Oh, uh, well, hello. My name is Captain Roland, and this is my XO Ball Chasorthus and my Chief Engineer Civic. We also brought along Ensign Tucker. It says, no, Captain. Since we already know why you are here, shall we commence with the action? Shall we dispense with the pleasantries? If you so desire, but uh, we came with pleasantries, so... <laughs> Spirit is... Spirit is like just not he's 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 glancing at uh Stahak and at the ceiling. He is wishing he could have simply teleported through the floor at this point. <laughs> Captain, I believe you'll find such pleasantries wasted. Hmm. Well, um although I guess We've we've got nowhere to be, so uh, uh, we've got plenty of time. If you want to get down to business first, that's perfectly fine. We can save the uh, pleasantries for uh, for afterwards. Very good. I believe that our our minimum minimum courtesy requires us to invite you to a conference table, as is tradition in the Federation. Absolutely, as it's decreed in Federation. Uh, uh, code 147 subsection B, there must always be a conference table. Yes. So, um... Uh, I think they as logical do, as they know, are, they would just like, put the transporter know. in the conference room and make things easier, but... That's just you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna uh, handle Tucker for a second here and go, alright, who's gonna say it? Me now. Ensign, contain yourself. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> um so um <laughs> you you come to the you come to the very spar- sparsely appointed very generic Federation conference room your um uh it uh, you know Stahak says we are aware that you wish to have Vulcan commit more than it's required uh uh, more than its required contribution to this enemy that you humans have made called the Borg. Many Vulcans died in the last encounter when you were ill-prepared for what you faced. Uh, I would say that um, the entire quadrant was ill-prepared and still continues to be ill-prepared. This is why we are here. This is not just a Federation issue. It's not a human issue. It's not a Vulcan issue. It is. It's this entire the entire quadrant. Um, If the Federation fails, Vulcan will surely fall to the board. There's there won't be a planet left that hasn't been turned into a giant machine planet thing you've seen the reports i'm sure and so tucker has it oh this is news to me sir i thought that was a (laughs) one-off holy shit um are you sure i shouldn't be somewhere else like i'm just gonna stay i'm just gonna give like the the captain eyes to ensign tucker (laughs) real quickly like okay um also, what I need is uh, let's see if we can can move the needle on uh, diplo- diplomacy. Then uh, this is a command. Do you have any foci? Uh, oh, I that would, uh, involve diplomacy. It is command and presence. Or do you choose, choose have... which you choose to use? <laughs> you know, command or uh, you're making an emotional argument. Well, no, you're not. You're making a logical argument. Uh, and can I? I would say. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask. Can I uh, assist him with a uh, focus and philosophy? You're welcome to say some words to earn that. <clears throat> you know, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lean. Uh, I'm going to lean into my captain's ear and keep, you know, my voice low. But captain, I believe you'll find this ambassador quite willing to make unnecessary sacrifices. Oh, you know he heard that. <laughs> it's got to be the ears, right? It's the, the point. ears. No, I think that was the point. Oh, wait. Tuck, uh, Tucker just can barely hold himself with meow mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, he and I'm going really... to gonna return the favor by kind of like whispering something at um, uh, Civic and go, I think it's kind of obvious that there's something going on between you and the ambassador. Are, are you going to be able to hold it together? I have no idea of what you speak of, Captain. Understood. Understood. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Uh, you said I could use... It was uh, uh, command and what? Uh, command and presence. Perfect. And I believe you have bold command. I do have bold you command. You do have oh, no, bold I don't, I don't command. Have, I, have, I have cautious command. You're a wuss burger. Mm-hmm. And, we, well, and we don't have any momentum, so I can't. I can't take advantage of it, but that's fine. That's okay. You can buy threat. No, it's fine. I got I got really good uh, numbers here. There we go. A four and a ten. I rolled a four. All it's right. Two successes. That's... And you rolled a four. Mm-hmm. Two successes. That's three successes. Sadly, it was not enough to bring in your focus and philosophy for the extra deep cut. However, um, you, um, uh, I it, it it there's a bear, there's a subtle shift of the left eyebrow of Stahak and Spirit has has a slight lowering of both brows. So um, obviously it's made quite an impact on them. Uh, and <laughs> it's like well this is a, a it is certainly an argument 
it is not a sufficient argument for us to um also you bank one well no you don't um well no you got extra so you gotta bank at least one uh you do um you have an argument it is not the most compelling of arguments that and we believe that only someone who is a true Vulcan would understand this what what approach may need to be taken to um, uh, Captain provide a deeper a deeper uh, yeah a, a deeper more complex sophisticated argument than what you simply have presented All right. uh, Captain if I may please uh, and uh, at that, Sivek uh, is actually going to push out of his chair, stand up, straighten his uh, his engineering uniform. Ambassador, I know we have not quite seen eye to eye in the past, but consider this a path of redemption for your past indiscretions. And I just used the word "past" a lot of times. Um, you surely you must see. Whatever the fate of the Federation may be when it comes to the Borg, will surely follow suit to, to our home, our, our planet of Vulcan. The only proposed solution that stands even the most, mo most mathematically irrelevant or in small chance of beating the Borg is if we are all in unison. We alone, as the, uh, the the Vulcan race, cannot take them alone. And surely you must know this. At this We've point, run the numbers. Uh, yeah, at this point, uh, Spiric uh, looks at you both. And, and we, too, have numbers. And he obviously, like, he just peed on your shoe. Um, and... Um, uh, Stahak says, Sivik, do you intend to invoke Takhoch to stay? I'm going to like pull out my little, um, <laughs> like, uh, uh, um, Earth to Vulcan, and I'm just going to keep like leaving through, like, I've never. I will do what I must to earn the trust of the council. Okay. For complete blind faith than throwing themselves into this hitherto oh, unknown. Oh, I, I know rituals. what I just gave to you, trust. <laughs> <laughs> You've given trust. You know that it's just going to be thrown on the ground and stomped on. <laughs> Come to the ritual ball pit, and we shall have the. Remember that they have a special room for rituals and a ball pit, so it it, it alternates. It's it's like Firefest. Is there a giant? Is there a giant fucking rat serving pizza? Um, they don't eat pizza, <laughs> at least not with their hands. <laughs> no, but there's an antikin. Do, do we? Do we? Look it up, people. There's an Antican serving pizza. Do, do we eat our pizza with a knife and savages? Uh, Vul Vulcans don't like to touch their food. That's with their fingers. Yeah. Their fingers are just for sexy times. That's yeah. There's a reason now that I understand it. Yeah. 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 Everyone. They don't want to do. Uh, they don't do sensual things with their food. Uh. <laughs> Makes one of us. Again. Amanda and Amanda and Sarek were maniacs on the Enterprise. <laughs> maniacs. Um, there were also the two bronze <laughs> guys in an expensive town. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it right in front of them, Amanda. It will be amazing. Watch what we get away with. And all the Vulcans were uncomfortable. They had AIDS, they had attaches, and they were both going, hmm. Um and it wasn't just the casual hatred of his own son. So, um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is we're going to... Do you wish to be escorted to the... To the are you prepared uh, for Tahoe uh, to stay? I'm ready. Uh, this will be 
Only uh, for Vulcans. It's a yeah. Vulcan thing. And, and, you can't say it. And, uh, you can't you use my that calorie word. Counter? It's a Vulcan thing. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Well, is there um, is there somewhere where we could? Um... Oh, me and me and the XO aren't just going to stand here in this <laughs> conference room. You may find meditation most uh, uh, most enlightening. And to help settle you emotionally, since you are obviously overwhelmed uh, in the presence of I was our logic. For it. Oh, uh, I had plenty. I had do plenty not, of motive. Uh, uh, do uh, not. We ask that you uh, do not disturb uh, 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 Spartan in Laboratory Two. He is engaged in research. I like research. I was hoping Maybe for I a chair help. and some uh, popcorn as a, as a human yeah, too. Uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, no, he doesn't, uh, yeah. Sparrick and, and Stahak just hand that icy Vulcan stare of, of he prefers to work alone. <laughs> don't go in that briar patch. Just don't go in the briar patch. That's all he's telling you. Under no cir- circumstances are you to go to lab two and interact with the only other Vulcan on the ship. <laughs> well, the only other Vulcans on the ship. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, what we'll do is if uh, the best part, the most important thing of Taka, Tahoe Tuesday is that you must be unprepared and yet prepared for everything. And uh, before you know it, you've you've turned a corner uh, from uh, wherever the, uh, there used to be a conference room here, uh, apparently there's a conference room now. Hold on. There is now. All right. I have reassigned the blueprints. Thank you, people. A uh, there is a conference, conference room. room. So it, it, is, it is, yeah, it's a pop-up conference room because you never know when you need a, a branded conference. So uh, you have, uh, they, they leave you to the rituals and ball pit. And when you you uh, get to the door and the the uh, do I actually have doors? Of course I don't have doors. Hold on. There. As uh, the doors open, I am like desperately trying to peek in to see what 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 the big deal is. Like, it's surprisingly roomy inside. Oh. The the glowing orb of 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 Tuesday. They, they spent some serious money on this. They painted the walls. They made it look very homey. Uh, also, there's the, you can see that the ball pit is there in the middle uh, with some things glowing around it. And at this point, uh, are you at all concerned for Sivik and his safety, sanity? Sivik, you've... Um, this seems like a Vulcan thing, so I'm going to go ahead and let you... Uh, let you do you, buddy. Um, hey, and just remember, when... When the rest of the guys, when the rest of these Vulcans get upset because I went and bothered the, 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 the doctor they told me not to bother, just remember, they could have let me watch this, and I would have stayed put. But Human curiosity. Very, very well, Captain. Uh, have fun employing the Janeway maneuver. <laughs> and I'll just start. I'll look at the commander and go, "Hey, you want to go? You want to go see what this scientist is something about? Vulcans told us not to do? Absolutely." <laughs> yeah, that's why I picked you as my EXO. Come on, let's go, buddy. <laughs> um, at this point, uh, the doors, uh, the doors cycle closed with Civic facing the unknown to you humans. Um, and what I'm going to do at this point. Um, Good Devil will be playing Ensign Tucker as the go-along-to-get-along feline. The ears are still pointy. Eh, but they're not Vulcan, eh, they? But they're not Vulcan, no. At this point, we could lend you cat ears. <laughs> that would be funny. All right. So, um, now at this point, what do you... Uh, <laughs> look, there's a lot of things on this ship one could do. Uh, you could visit the warp core. You Lab could two. go to the hygiene area. Um, what's up on the other deck? Uh, you could look and see what fabrication's like on the Vulcan ship. The computer oh. core seems interesting. 
It does seem interesting, but I mean, there, there's <laughs> that lab two, so I think we're gonna go there. So lab two, oh, oh, you no, you could you could stick the bunny on your head. Go on, GD, stick the bunny on your head. I oh, saw a stuffed animal. Oh, oh, me? Huh? Yeah, no, that yeah, that, that's a corgi. I a battle, a battle corgi. <laughs> All right, so um, as you uh, <coughs> go in, uh, Tucker, do you have anything? You're, uh, you know, as you guys are going down the hallway. Oh, uh, hey, guys, uh, aren't you all at all concerned about the, chi- the, the chief engineer? Of course we are. Oh, uh, yeah. Con- <laughs> concern? Well, I... I... Ensign, I have concern for all of my crew at all times, but this is a Vulcan matter. I mean, you know, Vulcans are really, I mean, you work with them all the time down there in the engineering room. I mean, it's this is the logical yeah, well, thing to it's do. It's like that, only a bunch well, of them. That, that's kind of my point there, Captain. Or Captain, uh, I, I don't know that I've ever seen uh, the, the Chief Seabag respond with an emotion. That was an emotion? As much as I've ever seen him. Hmm. Well. Well, well you heard the Vulcan. He had that disease. They, they, he had lots of emotions we... during that. We've seen, we've seen worse. Yeah, this is true. This is true. I think, uh, uh, Ensign, I think any time you start dredging up old wounds, uh, you know, scorned lovers, uh, People who tore your heart out and threw it out the side of an airlock, and oh, I mean, I, 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 anytime you're dealing with someone from your past, hey, it might be a little uncomfortable. Cam, are we still hey. talking about Civic? Well, for a minute there, I don't think we were, but I think now we're back on track. Uh, you, you, you know, it's uh, it, I, I, I. I'm concerned, yes, but I think he'll be just fine. You, when you become a captain of a starship, uh, uh, Ensign Tucker, and I think one day maybe you 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 might, you've got to kind of let your senior staff go and do. You, you can't micromanage too much. Really? Uh, uh, <laughs> captain, we're in Starfleet. It's nothing but. <laughs> Oh, you know, well, you, you, you get, he's the ball buster. Um, you know, uh, and some, we're not going to make you uncomfortable if we go poking around looking to see what this doctor's doing. Dude, you, you, you cool? You're going to. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm always up for a little bit of adventure. Perfect. <laughs> Ensign, uh, uh, I think we might be having a little bit more bridge, uh, bridge duty for you in the future I, I i like the cut of your jib let's go over to lab two okay uh you you wander you wander uh very directly and succinctly to lab two uh that does say you know do not disturb oh important, yeah but I don't, I don't i don't read vulcan important research in progress no humans allowed the last uh, part yeah, is, it's just, just squiggles, though. Last part's in English. It's all vertical squiggles, too. Those <laughs> are the worst kind of squiggles. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you... you uh, oh, let me see. I've got to gather all my toys here. Puppy. And uh, you enter. What is... Did, did, did Good Devil just... F off out of I think time? I I, th- I I think the the Ensign Tucker voice required a drink. It sure did, and I still have yours in. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Whittle your crewman number two. Um, that was why he died. Was the guy didn't want to do the voice anymore? That was literally the reason <laughs> that that uh, that henchman number twelve died. Okay. So, um, here's the thing that happens. You enter, and you see this. Oh, my God, Captain, what's that? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, 
are they um are they activated or do they look like they're 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 like dead? Uh well these do look uh Vulcan uh and they do look um well they look inactive. It's too bad you don't have track orders or anything where you just kinda showed up, you know, on a diplomatic mission. I reach for my I reach for my um uh uh phaser and then go, oh god damn it, diplomatic mission. God Tucker, do you understand this Vulcan language? <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's just a, it's actually something I picked up in my mind. In fact, when I was traveling. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. You can you can drop it down, and you don't have to clinch. It might be a little out of his register. Yeah, it is. Pretend that your balls have dropped down to your knees. <laughs> Welcome to the Lords and Ladies of Fate hey. uh, voice acting workshop. I have to put my chin all the way down into my fucking chest, but I can do it. You gotta turn like. How many sponsors do you think we lost today? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that anything with pimple cream is gone. I think we picked up me out, Tucker's. I love this. Oh, everyone today is everyone's, everyone's everyone's Angela Lansbury today. Today we're all Angela Lansbury. Veach uh, says I want off this earth. Can't blame You're her. not on. Can't blame her. I can't. I hate. What? Why is they? Why is That's they? The next hating? holodeck episode. Uh, I think. I think it was my my. The many Tuckers. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this, the many Tuckers. <laughs> next oh, next no, episode the... the Tucker Paradox. <laughs> that's oh. it. Every single one of us gets to be a different Ensign Tucker. <laughs> that that's the next episode. Make I believe that Q. I believe that uh, the the Spider Verse is just the beginning of this. <laughs> right. The Tucker Verse of Madness. <laughs> Vito. Oh wow! I really do look good from behind. <laughs> I don't know why she hates furries. <laughs> Oh, does my voice really Which sound like that? turn was it to change yeah, the litter I, I, box? <laughs> oh, God, this is good. Oh, I really gotta go. Oh, God, it's like, it's like, it's like GG is just giving up on us. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, it's the bone conductor. Go nope. straight into your cortex. Alice says, I'd want to see about 0. 0.2 seconds of that. Then we can veto. <laughs> You just did. You literally yeah, saw the whole it. show. You got it. That's it. It was. It was gonna be a dozen Cation jokes, and we're out. You know, it was. It was that or listening to Michelle, uh, uh, Michelle Bar- Roddenberry purr a lot, which was most of Star Trek the animated series. Uh, so that that in that danger. awoken things in a lot of children. Uh, young, young, young people. I will say that that entire series was uh, was was a trip. So uh, you are now in a room with uh, what appear to be three Borg uh, that are, look like they've been assimilated Vulcans. Well, it, and before we went off on that massive tangent, I believe the captain asked if uh, we could tell if they were active. Are they? Yes. Uh, they they are unmoving. All right. Well, that. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna call, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell um uh, ensign commander both of you uh, uh, keep your keep your distance and I'm going to cautiously approach um undesignated oh there's two of those uh the the one in the middle all right UD I'll do undesignated ironically if I give them a number they have a designation suddenly but we, for purposes of this exercise uh we'll call one uh, we'll call them UDs. UD1 and UDA. Just to mess with you guys. I hate. I hate. <laughs> UD8. I hate, hate it so much. Uda. It's all right. Uh, uh, Good Devil showed me a picture of his, uh, his Xbox lying down on its side, and I was like, oh man, if only the power button rotated because now it's sideways. 
and did he, he got really mad and i hope you know i hope you know yes in fact right after that conversation went straight to google like okay is this a thing that could be done no no even if i take it apart and put it back together successfully no fuck me fuck <laughs> fuck fuck <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what'll happen. Uh, so you approach UD1 or UDA? Uh, UD1. UD1, yeah. Um, you do get a, you know, um, you know, some some alert alerts and things trip off. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> it's the chat. Beach just she's in the chat slaying today. She, she said, everyone. "Remember, remember when Good Devil was happy? I don't." <laughs> Well, this okay. is going to be terrible. I, I'm not going to earn my ther game therapist badge today. I've never slept, by the way. Never. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you go to uh, approach the uh, UD1. It appears to be unmoving. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't. It, it's not moving, um, and obviously. Uh, yeah, there are there are Vulcan tricorders lying around if you need them, or Vulcan scanning instruments. If you want to um, look at uh, anything else. I'd like. prefer to take a look at the chart. Okay. The tail of the tape. Um, also, does anyone else want to do anything while the captain is uh, attempting to disconnect the M5? Uh, I'm going to assume a defensive stance because uh, I can't read anything in here, so I'm not really going to be useful in doing anything with the, the uh, systems but I can punch okay. him punch a mother okay uh, Tucker is there anything uh, you, you have language uh, we've established somehow you have Vulcan language since you're an NPC okay um, you don't even have to do the voice anymore you just you just be you well no I mean I can still uh, speak action without doing the voice um, yep uh, I think uh, Ensign Tucker is going to uh, kind of follow the lead of Old Cappy and uh, 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 just kind of go go with the, the the thought of curiosity and pick up one of the Vulcan tricorders. Uh, okay. And uh, instead of scanning, I want to see what the last uh, last few things scanned on it were and what the findings were. Okay, uh, it looks like a science and uh, control role. Uh, uh, Ensign Tucker, in his specialty, has uh, 13s on his primary stuff, and he has 11s on his secondary. And since he's an engineer, this is a primary skill, a uh, primary task. So he's, he is a 13. All right. Yeah. We don't even know what other what his things are. He just has a good number and an not so good number Man. and a real shit yeah. number. Uh, two successes. All right. Um, you do uh, pull up the data, and it looks like uh, someone been a little bit exciting. They seem to have somehow procured Borg technology. And, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, some, they've been trying to reprogram uh, the Borg assimilation subroutines. Oh. <clears throat> I think I have something you might want to see. Um, yeah, absolutely. I put the chart down and come back. I come over to look over Ensign Tucker's shoulder as captains are wont to do. And uh, uh, Tucker's just gonna just kind of hold it and uh, point out this. Uh, 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 Captain, I know you not haven't taken a Vulcan, uh, but it seems that the Vulcans here are trying to repurpose the. Uh, the board technology for their own. Diabolical. <laughs> Diabolical. Let's not let's let's not jump to conclusions here, uh, Commander. All right. I don't wanna I don't wanna stereotype, but I, I know you're Andorian. We're gonna allergies. jump to conclusions here, no matter what I say. Not, not that Andorians jump to conclusions. Just that you guys have bad blood with the Vulcans, and I'm acknowledging your 
tumultuous past. I think I'm rather objective in these situations. I'd find I that agree. very insulting in his lack of professionalism. <laughs> Captain, do you know nothing about saying, not not mentioning blood feuds when someone's suppressing their rage? Look, Q, um, uh, <laughs> humans uh, had a problem with not talking about blood feuds and things like that, and, uh, and that put them in a very, very bad bind. That's how they got the bell riots, okay? We talk about things here on the Norway. Right, we talk about mostly it. in therapy. Okay, just don't, just don't have, just don't mostly. have. Well, if you have therapy, then all the incels are going to come crawling into the chat <laughs> and talk about how it's not real Star Trek. No, just stop talking about feelings. Um, so what, uh, Balt? Did you were you, did you go over to them, uh, to get involved in this conversation? Uh, yes. Well, I'm I'm over. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll kind of follow closely behind because i'm basically playing guard duty right now i was actually this close okay. to bringing my uh my weapon with me when we uh, came over no the no my, my with yeah. the ice knife yeah yeah because there's nothing like nothing that puts vulcans at ease is like rolling up yeah. with an ice knife it's a ceremonial thing <laughs> yes they understand tradition um so when you um well, you guys are engaged. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's this thready thing I can do. There we go. Three. And. You do not need to be alarmed. Carl, is that you again? <laughs> and uh, the, the you turn around, obviously, because that pretty much caught you all off guard and the uh only named borg in the room which you don't know but they all have old name plates now apparently uh which is spardon the person who's who's uh things you were told not to interfere with mm -hmm. is is here and um while you're facing him uh you have suspense and it's like uh you need to make some some non uh copyright strikeable uh, music for me uh, about that. No one wants to make a non non copyrightable music sting. Okay, that was. It wasn't <laughs> dun, gonna, dun, dun. That's. I'm pretty I mean, sure that that's was not daytime. <laughs> that was daytime Emmy board right there. That was some good stuff. Uh, meanwhile, we cut back to. Yes, we cut back to. Taco Tuesday. What's happening here? Oh my god! <laughs> yes, please. 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 Please, you must explain it to us humans. Please, Commander, Steven. I need to know more about this. <laughs> or you can just be caught mid-sentence saying whatever it is. The more I look at it. The more questions I have. This is why humans are not allowed to see it. It's a private <laughs> thing to the Vulcan people. I do not love you. I do not love me. We are not one big happy family. Now, let's all Go out and pun far. And give your cap a kiss. Won't you just leave <laughs> all of this? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, someone goes, this is not a hat. And, and scene. Now we're back to you guys. So that's the... Uh... <laughs> mm. Oh, by the way, could you roll? Could, could you roll? Uh, uh, see, it, could you roll four d twenties? What a four! And anything above a fifteen, or your target number is like sixteen. Okay. Damn. All right. So one, two. Uh, so that's three successes, but 
There was a 20 what? that got mixed into there. Oh, good work. All right. Well, you see, the nice part about a consequence is it can be shared with friends. Wonderful. <laughs> Just like momentum, it can be shared with friends. Oh, yeah, we're going to do Aqua Teen Hunger Force next, so be prepared for the next round. There are at least... <laughs> how many did I prep? It's because uh, I put it's it's because I put a picture of Carl in the Discord, isn't it? It's because of you the... did go mucking about with the multiverse, <laughs> and the multiverse is going to be Vulcan Taco Tuesday looks like a cult right before the Kool Aid is served. Fiji <laughs> <laughs> wins the chat again. Uh, like little known, this is footage of Jonestown just moments before. Oh man, are you getting? Some of us didn't work on the darkness. We did not want to go into darkness. <laughs> we but went you there. did. You went into darkness. <laughs> um, so there is a a consequence that happens for you. Um, so, uh, yeah, but you actually pick up extra momentum. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you now are uh, standing there with uh, a, a Borg that doesn't... I mean, you haven't dealt with Borg because, you know, they, so far it's just been like Locutus and a booming voice is all the Federation knows. But now you're face-to-face -face with uh, something with significantly higher production values. <laughs> what? Ruh -ruh. what? What is the meaning of all of this? You're, you're Borg. No, human, you fail to understand what we have done. That's true. Because we truly understand machinery, the machinery of these organisms and their simple need to assimilate, we have given them a new purpose. So you did a factory reset and started from scratch? A crude, crude analogy, but one that is better than the referee came up with <laughs> just before this event, this uh, story. <laughs> hmm. As you can see, I have managed to, uh, or I have achieved unity with the Borg, and we will do the same if another Borg uh, cube intrudes. We will simply merge with it and it can be controlled because it's simply a matter of discipline. So you're saying that you can control a Borg cube with your mind. Well, how else would one control it? But with the power of the mind. With guns. Well, you know, I, um... <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't really ask any questions the last time I was near any Borg, which was uh well near is a relative term. Uh yes. he, ca ca Captain Captain <laughs> Sykes is just like here. like flabbergasted almost, you know, like just but then Wait a minute. No, so Did you volunteered for this? Yeah. This was my experiment. You so you assimilated these people? I assimilated I simply treated myself and other volunteers for this experiment. We have after all undergone the discipline of colon R, which is sufficient to discipline not just one mind, but all mind. The Vulcan, the, the Vulcan way will lead the board to a better path. Have you tested this out yet? You got you got anything? To, you got any snarky ass comments to make there, Tucker? This is his job. <laughs> he does not have to be reserved. <clears throat> No, actually, we're going to go with the Tucker's just kind of, like, 
you know, pinned back against the chair he was sitting in, uh, seeing this just kind of casual conversation have, uh, happening between uh, what he recognized, now recognizes as a board and the captain. They're frozen in place there. I'm going to go, uh, look, I don't have all of the Federation charter memorized, but I'm pretty sure secret experiments like this Can't I believe the word you're looking for is a war crime! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ensign. Ensign. Uh, very, very well put. Um, yeah, you guys can't be doing this. This is... Um, volunteers or no, we're fighting the board. We're not trying to make them better. That's not our... We're not here to better the species that's trying to assimilate all sentient life in the galaxy. Do you see how that might be a somewhat of a conflict of interest? No, you see, I still maintain control of me. I have controlled the boar. <laughs> what? Two, two, two drones? You, 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 you really do you do you, do you understand the number of Borg on your typical queue? Because I don't. Let me see. I wanna. How do I send a send a thingy? Uh. Got it. I don't know if, if yep. that's awake. Oh, okay. I wasn't <laughs> sure. Sure if you went into pause mode. Oh, well, I was going to ask first. Uh, have you have they tested this out on anything other than these? You know, we wished to show the Federation what I had accomplished, but it was prudent to simply not, uh, to not approach a more, uh, the more populated or advanced area. Oh, yeah. so as you can see, this experiment is a success. Soon I will have more Borg under my control. But you haven't tested this with any existing Borg yet. I have created two. From Utek and Uzak. You know, you Vulcans, you say you keep all of your emotions in check. You really need to work on your arrogance because that's a very disturbing picture that just dropped into the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that just completely took me out of it. Aww. Thanks, Veej. <laughs> I will have nightmares now. Wait, we um, have a Discord? We have a yeah. Discord on this? <laughs> Or on the is not the it is the Discord, right? Mm-hmm. Why why does Q Q needs to see these things? Um Oh yeah, that's that's definitely disturbing. That's that's bored right there. <laughs> so uh you, yeah. You you have you have to know that uh, I'll be making a full report to Starfleet about this with the express recommendation that this experiment be terminated immediately. Okay, did you want to really uh, roll any dice, or do you just want this to do what you think is going to happen next? Sure, oh, it's, it's up to you. If you feel if you feel like a dice roll is warranted, I'm ready. I've got them right here. Let's go. I need some, I need some 20s out of you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the sound it'll make as your bones break. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, uh, command and presence? Oh, I think command and presence is, is enough, yes. I am going to purchase two uh, from, from with, uh, with uh, whatchamacallit? With uh... momentum. With whatchamacallit? Yes. Yeah, with whatchamacallit, yep. Jomentum, yep. Jomentum. All right. And he's going to roll his dice. <laughs> he's going to roll his dice for resistance. 15, 11, 1, and an 18. 
So three successes. I'm sorry, the one is a is a second one. So that's four successes. Yes, it is. Woohoo. Um. Okay. Well, they attempted to resist, but only got three successes. Uh, so you know, it's like uh, there's there is the question of you can. Uh, then, if you must report, report upon the in, the entirety of this experiment. And um, what happens next is uh, the other two Borg start to uh, boot up. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna start like taking steps backwards One away second. from the bio beds. Yeah, they're waking I immediately up now. Tend to disable one of them. Hold on, they're still booting up. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute. We have to connect first. Yeah, they have to connect first. Kids, that's the sound that used to play any time your 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 mommy or daddy ever had to go onto the internet. It was, that was when we were shooed out of the room. <laughs> Uh, so the, uh, uh, UD1 and UDA, uh, both do the standard, like, no bend at the knees, just pop straight up, kind of, uh, Frankenstein maneuver there. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, uh, start swinging the legs off the table and finding their feet. Uh, so, Nat, you were, uh, sorry, uh, Ball was looking for a weapon of some sort? Um... Or what were you? Well, I was going to yes. so so I have uh, constantly watching, which I figured would give me kind of an advantage to do something before they got fully booted. And I was going to see if there's some All right. way I can. Well, 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 while they're in the middle of their their boot routine, I was going to see if there's some way I could like disconnect something from their heads or something like you know. Well, the future is all yeah. wireless. Um, however. Uh, you do see several panels nearby that do look like they have blinky lights to end all blinky lights. Yeah, all right. So we'll go mess with that panel. Okay. Um, do you have an engineering and... I need engineering and insight. Engineering and insight. Which should really stick on ice for you. That is not great. It's not great. <laughs> Tucker. You are also going to use an engineering and insight to see what he's about to do. Uh, so if you want to roll a couple of dice on that. Okay. No, I don't see anything else that's going to help me. Which in um, I'm going to buy one momentum, though. Yep. Uh, one die? Okay. Can you sweat? Oh, you're going to love this. 20. Well, I got a 1. I Very got a 15. Good. And I got a 20. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. 20. <laughs> so I still, had, I still hadn't spent the first consequence, but now I'm going to spend the second one. So, um, yeah, what you see before you is you're sure it is uh, the power source for the Borg. It's like they still need to be energized. Energize. And, uh, yeah, do you want to just, like, wail uh, on that, yeah. baby? All right. Uh, this is just a good old-fashioned smash-up, and so just uh, take your little, uh, well, let me see, daring and security, and you can just put your elbow right on through that thing. Daring and security. Okay, well, that's a little bit better for me. Let's get that yep. die out of there that rolled that 20. Jump. I, All right, I. I got um, a three and a seventeen, so one success, one failure. Oh. All you need is one success to have a successful hit on an inanimate object. Uh, you, uh, do your what's your hand to hand damage? Was it six My dice? My hand to hand is five. Five dice. Okay. Throw five. And also, uh, team. Uh, to look at the panel that he's making. I got a one. No. What now? You're breaking up there. Huh? Oh, you got a saying? one? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, am I breaking up? No, you were breaking, breaking up. You were breaking up. Okay. Yep. Better? Yes. Right. Um, Tucker, did you want to roll dice or are you just uh, watching TikToks? I'm gonna look at that in it now. Like, what do I do? All right. Um, Fight! What you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the panel that he's doing to see what a panel uh, your first officer is about to wipe out. And uh, I just need uh, two dice on against your 13, and this will be an engineering and insight type of roll. Gotcha. Uh, two successes. Okay. You recognize that as a bioneural interlink that would allow the stabilization of a collective consciousness. Uh, so that's a, except that somebody's about to put their fist through it. So you can try and say something that would be funny, at, uh, funny but too late. Oh, Captain! You might, might you, you might not want put your fist through that! Why? What have you got? I got a one. Well, I thought I was saying that before. It was just too late, so. Got a one, two twos, a three, and a six. Wow. All right, the six is vicious. Reroll the six. So you get one point for the six. Reroll it. Five. All right, it's another point. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of damage on a panel that only needed four. You have well and truly busted the fuck out of this thing. Uh, so sparks spray out from the plastic panel because that's all the uh, all the money we have for the event. It happily is a, one of those breakaway ones that's clearly not made from the same material that it was in the last shot. And um, at that point... Um, the other Borg uh, begin, you know, uh, booting up, and uh, Captain, you're standing right in front of the Borg, right? Right in front of Spartan, pleading your pleading your case. Um, I think I think at this point, I think at this point, uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to to. to to throw some throw some punches. Okay. I feel the fighting going on behind me. I feel I, I feel these it's guys ages. waking up. He just kind of like made a vague threat. So I'm like I'm I'm here. I'm here for it. Let's go. Okay. And so um as the and you notice a, a different a different uh, the arrogance goes away on his face. You didn't even have to punch it off this time. Or pull nice. rank. And, uh, yeah, but before that happens, uh, the devil's got some, some explaining to do. Oh, no. If I can find it. Okay, you ready? You ready? Uh, yep, I'm going to let him get in the makeup. Yep, fuck it, go. <laughs> <laughs> Just film from the good side. <laughs> and then the, it was thusly that I, Sivak of Koi, said upon to you, Kale, quack. <laughs> I'll never get, I'll never get Vulcan culture. <laughs> it is, it's a very, what I'm saying is, uh, you get to roll two more dice against your reason and science. There it is. Ooh, one success. One success. Okay. You guys have you banked one back for your comrades. And at this point, uh, Captain, you're about to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you hear this sound coming through the really well-done subwoofers. They didn't get it. Unless the sound was silence. I... 
Oh, was it yep. silence? Oh, God damn it. Seriously? Yeah. So all that work, it doesn't, the soundboard does not believe in, in audio. But I can just do this, right? Didn't get it. That uh, comes through? Faintly. Huh? Okay, well, forget that then. We are the Borg. You will surrender, and your biological and technological distinctiveness will be added to our own. Resistance is futile. So yeah, he's pretty much he's pretty much lost it at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a loot. Punching through the neural interface will do it. Oh, blame it on the Andorian. <laughs> I wasn't the one who started this experiment. So um. My God, I'm going to be the one that finishes it. <laughs> um, uh, you guys have um, a bit of a ship at your disposal. You do have several airlocks by uh, magic random happenstance. Yeah, let's take a look at that. You also have a transporter. And a warp core that is, is just itching to be overloaded. So the ship has turned into survival horror. Oh, God, I already died in that one. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> well, this time you weren't trying, so I guess that's yeah. a plus. <laughs> Oh my god, Feej, if I can be tits out 24-7, I'll baby bird a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about Ferengi culture and how their women preach you the food. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you don't get you don't get money, so I don't know if that's worth it. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't even look at the fucking time. Yep. Uh how do you want to destroy the Borg? Airlock, transporter? Um, y you know, I'm tired of cleaning up the Vulcan's mess. I want to run past the rituals and ball pit. I want to open up the door. I don't care what kind of funny hats they're wearing. And I'm just going to go, hey, um, the Borg you all had in lab two. Yeah, they're breaking loose and trying to kill everybody. Good job, you guys. Now, now clean up your mess. Okay, that's a good one. Um... <laughs> uh, so do you concur, Axel? Are you oh, good yeah. with that? Yeah. Okay, at this point, they actually have, uh, they're done with the funny hats. Uh, because I only, I only thought of two, two things for this gag. Well, now oh, you got, both a, great you got a week to come up with the next one. I know it involves, <laughs> it involves slipping things inside of Trill. Um, yeah, so we'll let Beach do that make a decision about that um no, no. so you do come by you do a, you do a drive by uh i'm hearing yakety sax getting played as the captain break, breaks in um and you guys had actually concluded your ritual the ritual of uh Tahako tuesday uh, it was just about over but uh you break in you let him know and uh Satak, Spirek gives a I fucking told you so look to Stahak. I want to I want to imitate that exact look directly at Stahak. Yeah, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. uh, So what you can do is that's a presence and lack of cultural sensitivity. <laughs> so let's go with command. You might as well put, do ears. You know, you might as well do do green ears at this point. Um, yeah. So go ahead, uh, command and uh, command and presence, just a flex on them. I've been doing really good with this recently. Let's go ahead and These damn uh, dirty Vulcans. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy buy an extra die just so that I can use my cautious command because I very rarely get to use that. Yeah. Oh, my that goodness, I'm glad I did. Because that's 20. We're going to re-roll What? 
No, I'm not going to leave the 20. You've had <laughs> enough today. Yeah, that's true. Three. Ten, seven, and three. Very well that's, done. Uh... And probably, uh, you probably have a focus somewhere in there, so that's four successes. Um, so you basically, uh, well, you know, the word deposing Satak uh, might be a little strong, but it's it's clear he's not gonna not gonna be going anywhere in the world of Vulcan anymore. Uh, they both request uh, Spirix says, Captain, I believe it is it is prudent for us to remove ourselves to your craft. I will set I will set the the infallible infallible self destruct mechanism. You know, um, that's perfectly fine because I know of an ambassador, not an ambassador, I know of an admiral at the starbase that would really like to have a conversation the with the two of you. Mm -hmm. the yes. <laughs> he, he basically gives the long suffering look to the Andorian and he goes, We have made it extremely large and durable just for you. And it is at minus 20 degrees right. C. We have the Andorian self-destruct. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the button, and then I'll, I'll call over to the, the, the shuttle. Uh, Slepanir, uh, what's this, four, five, six, uh, six to beam out. Okay. Um, Slepanir needs to roll some dice uh, for a beam out because there are board security protocols in place. Who's got that kind of? That sounds like an engineering like, yeah, thing, right? Like a, That's a not con me. and a uh, uh, reason. But Tucker can do it on a thirteen. Well, if Sevik's there, Sevik's gonna yeah, do Sivik it. Yeah, can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he does have a a focus in warp. Uh, no, uh, that's warp field. Right here. Um, if your transporter was going really, really fast, it would count. So you'll uh, I'll, I'll take you'll the, the I'll take the bonus focus. Yeah, you'll yeah. take a. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I said that, but sure, you do now. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, basically, I mean, I'll call it what it is. You do, you do need two successes on this because it is a, okay. a bit of a uh, weird, weird old beam out. Heard that? Uh, I am going to buy a die with momentum. Yep. And. I'm so, uh, I'm, God, you think I'm going to ask. Uh, 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 what am I rolling uh, against con again? And, uh, con and Reason. Con and Reason. 13. So, Tucker would have been the damn thing. All right, oh, really we got... Pretty dark. Uh, we got one success. You needed two. That's kind of that's kind of shitty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, he goes... It was a five and two sixteen. That transporter goes... Bzz, bzz, and and now, um, yeah, uh, so. Uh, well, it, it, ooh, it's the no, toxic hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, and, and the Tucker would like to assist. <laughs> That's a success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this protocol where if you're the PC and NP, you could when they're not in the same room, it's like Superman. But okay, apparently right. Alfred showed up in a Batman outfit, and uh, this happened. So, <laughs> oh, here, sir, here, like, don't push that one too. So, uh, you do beam out. I don't know if someone still has that on their on their uh, thingy. And uh, yeah, you're you're back in a. Uh, you're back aboard a, a rather crowded shuttle at this point. And I would like to make sure that we stay there until um, until the um, the Suvok Tal blows oh, up. Oh yeah, no, it it goes up in a shower of uh, a shower of showers. And I'll look at I'll look at the commander and go, "Hey, commander, you did that. Yeah. You did that. Aren't you special? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna write that in my. Yeah, rub his antenna. <laughs> I wiped it out. Yeah, blowing up a Vulcan shuttle has got to be a rare thing nowadays in the uh, mm -hmm. in the Empire. 
All right. So, yes, that, I will say, brings you uh, to a <coughs> end scene. We now return you to uh, your regularly scheduled mayhem, your boring little lives. One moment before we get to that, um, I did. I assumed that the Norway has four shuttle pods because that just seems like the right number. They do now. Um, we have yeah. the Arvok, the Sle- the Slepnir. That's the uh, the the captain's like like good good shuttle pod. Um, the the Gil the the Gillier, and the Alsvin. Those are all mythical horses in Norse mythology. So, have fun Okay. With that. Uh, hopefully someone has written those down. Put them in the group chat. And we'll figure it out. All right. AKA well, Brett and Gary. Brett and Gary. Brett, <laughs> Brett Gary. and Gary. Your name not Brett. All right. And well, one of them is named Leggy Blonde. If Sorry. you uh, enjoyed what we did tonight, please hit the follow button down at the bottom if you haven't already. Uh, we will be back Wednesday for, uh, uh, a podcast. I believe we're doing a podcast Mm. off the rails. Um, We'll be back. And then, uh, Thursday we'll be, uh, maybe completing yellings. We'll see how it goes. Uh, things have have started to heat up and, uh, and yeah, we'll we'll see how the crew handles the remainder of, uh, of this with the death of Tevi Fonda. (laughs) <laughs> Tevi Fonda's little baby boy is going to mm-hmm. eat everybody. Tevi Fonda's last words were, "You better not hurt my boy." <laughs> um, and we then... have nothing left to live for. <laughs> uh, then we will have um, uh, Saturday, uh, the second episode of the New Rifts campaign. Um, which, if you missed episode one. Really good. The story is is very interesting. It, it was it's a little shorter of an episode because there was uh, uh, episode one's always going to have some technical mm-hmm. snafus. Um, but um, I'm really really excited to uh, continue watching this Saturday to figure out what's going on. Uh, I feel like we were just scraping the surface. Yeah. And hopefully we get a couple more. Uh... And that Cole guy is a fucking <laughs> asshole, isn't he? Hopefully we get a couple more uh, players for that one too because. Uh... Uh, we're about two. We're, well, technically, we're three shy. Uh, I'm playing in it currently, but uh, as a, hopefully a temporary until we get a full cast. Um, if this if this gets you in the door to watch the uh, the stream, Nat is playing a blonde I lady. Am playing a blonde lady, costume to boot, <laughs> uh, which is way out of my comfort zone for role play, by the way. So uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. I think you did fine. I think you did. I think you did uh, fine. The stroking the beard was really the, the thing that set it apart from everything else. You can't be a blonde lady without stroking your beard. I mean, it's the beard la- bearded lady. Uh, yes, and then um, uh, do, do we have word on the Sunday game yet? Are we... I I don't. So waiting. Still I don't waiting. Um, the last the last thing that we um uh talked about was scheduling session zero. Um, waiting to hear back on okay. all of that. Um, put some more feelers out for uh, some players in that one as well, because I believe we're two down. Yep. Oh, cool. Um, mm-hmm. and got, then uh, player calls out. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, there's player call out for um, Solar Patrol. Yep, yep. So, mm-hmm. uh, we need uh, two more cast members for Solar Patrol, I think. Right. Yep. Uh, because because we're we're actually building on a, a cast of. Um, a cast of sand as it is. Uh, we're we're going to have a little more casual attendance, I think, for this one. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so we may have, we uh, the more players the better because I I anticipate that everyone's gonna not everyone's gonna be there all the time. Sure. Uh, and that will be one that we're gonna replace this one with for a time. Uh, yes. During in between mm-hmm. seasons, so. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with that, there's some good uh, links in Discord to kind of show you a little bit about what that game is about. Uh, and it, you know, it's going to be uh, campy and fun, I think. So uh, you should check that out and, and jump in if you're if you're interested. Um, and yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for this uh, this week. Um, 
is next week the start of uh, Ruby? No. Um. So. Actually, yeah, no, when? that's correct. Uh, next, God, it's coming up so no, quick. We're playing so, yes, uh... we're playing Jackbox. <laughs> if you need, yeah. if you need another week, if you if you need one more week to get things going, don't feel pressured. We can always throw in a Jackbox. Oh, no, 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 no. Or it's, like that. It, it's fine. I am ready to go. So, uh, yes, uh, it, uh, uh, on March 9th, uh, we are going to be starting Ruby, and I named it something stalling for time. Stalling for time, stalling for Jack time. Something? No, I just called it the like. I thought I got renamed it. It is still currently named the Grim Campaign, but I had something else a little bit more clever for it. Uh, we'll see if I can actually remember that. Either way, uh, we are going to be using the uh, the unofficial Ruby TTRPG book as uh, uh, provided off the uh, the uh, subreddit of the same name. Uh, we have four wonderful. Huntsman that I am excited to take through uh, their their trip through Remnant. Um, just being the the coolest, most badass, uh, you know, superhero kind of characters that they can be. Uh, I'm very excited to watch this. I think it's going to be very interesting. Being completely unfamiliar with this is you know the the show altogether. Uh, but so are oh, so are at least two of the players. <laughs> that's okay it never seems to matter uh, three 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 uh, uh sorry wayne you're you're alone well, i'm not alone i'm not playing oh, felix, felix is, is alone. alone felix doesn't know what's going on all he knows is he wants a wig and uh ropes that's those are his things he's got a he's got a wig now <laughs> you know every anime has to have Someone with ropes. I don't know what it is. There's, there's gotta well, be somebody well, with ropes. Well, well, Felix has got that base covered. Yep. Spoiler. <laughs> All right, and then uh, tonight we're gonna we're gonna raid the TPK roleplay group. Um, so. Oh, that uh, sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some, I suppose. Seems like a seems like a self fulfilling <laughs> prophecy, if you ask me. Uh, so show them some kindness, show them some love, uh, and show them some raid emotes. And uh, we will see everybody later.